Hello, all you beautiful souls out there. Thank you so much for coming back to our Soul Sisters channel. You know, my hope and desire and wish for this channel is to just help even one person realize the beauty of mindfulness and meditation and how it can lead to such a glorious, beautiful, thankful, gracious life. So mindfulness and meditation. I was reading an article last week and it was an awesome article about being present and the importance of being present and how being present can even be a meditation in itself. So I always bring my mind back to making contact. That's how, if my mind is wandered off throughout the day, like it does sometimes, a lot of times, to be honest, I have to bring it back. And I bring it back to the present moment and I realize where I'm making contact. If I'm sitting in a car, am I grabbing the steering wheel? How does the steering wheel feel? Is my butt touching the seat? Is my back on the backrest? If I'm out to dinner with a friend, I want to be out to dinner with that friend. With no cell phone, um, no computer, no distractions, I want to be there at that moment. So I'm going to read you a little quote from this um, article I was reading last week. It says, think in the now, be in the now. Allowing yourself to be present and mindful at all times might be one of the simplest ways to a happier life. So whether you're jumping on a trampoline with your daughters, jump on the trampoline with your daughters. Be in the present moment. So a lot of times, if you sit back and you take just a few few breaths, close your eyes. I like to bring my attention to that third eye right in between your eyebrows. Just gives your mind a place to focus on and start paying attention to your breath. And then realize where you're making contact. What part of your body is making contact? And that's one way to start a meditation and to be in the present moment at that time. Um, another trick that I like to do throughout the day um, is I sit and I will think of my mind. I'll go back to my quiet spot, close my eyes, bring my mind to peace and Picture my mind as a calm, still, pristine lake. And it's really beautiful and it's so calm. And then all of a sudden, the ding of the phone happens and a pebble gets thrown in. The computer starts sending messages. That's another pebble. Mom! That's another pebble. So I see those pebbles going into my soft, pristine, still lake, and they make little ripples. But I watch that pebble float down to the bottom of that lake and rest patiently along with all the other pebbles. And that is another thing that makes me another trick that I do during the day to bring me into the present moment. It's just very important to be so present, to be with your family, with your kids, with your friends, and to know that they really have your attention and your ears are open and you're ready to listen and talk. And, um, I just wanted to share that with you because I just realized how important being present was and how in our society with cell phones and computers and um, all the things that 
are so easy, Facebook and Instagram, and it's just so easy to be distracted and not be present. So try that. Try making contact throughout the day and bringing your mind to the present moment. And it's so peaceful and it's so calming. And even when craziness is happening all around you, you can bring your mind to this space and be quiet. Even if it's only for five seconds, that's how you start. Just close your eyes, come to your third eye, quiet your mind, and start your meditation. So thank you for coming back, listening to my tip for the day. Um, please like us, subscribe, and um, follow us, and um, just be prepared to come on a fun journey with us, me and my soul sisters. Have a great day. Thanks.